Hey, I want to welcome you to State of Charge, where we make videos about solar power, web technology, and we share life stories. In today's video, we discuss building a very cost-effective, off-grid, remote, solar-powered security camera that is connected to the internet with cellular data. Now, if topics like this pique your curiosity, then please like and subscribe to the channel. And be sure to watch the entire video to see how we tackle three key points of interest for our off-grid security camera system. The three points are the challenge, which we will get into. Number two, the solutions that we have found, and they're pretty cool. And then three, overall cost, and was it worth it? So let's talk about the challenge. Every day when I drive into my office, I see several construction sites. They're everywhere. And every one of these have a solar power security camera system that's set up on the corner of the construction site to monitor the space after hours. Well, this got me thinking. I live in a pretty remote area and I don't have good internet. I don't have very strong Wi-Fi uh, or a signal that would reach a device. So how can I build my own security camera while making it cost effective with a very small footprint? I don't want to see a huge solar panel with a trailer or some type of metal box with a huge battery system tied to a large tall pole. I want to be able to drive into my yard and not be overtaken by a huge security system in my driveway. So what do I do? Now remember, the security camera needs to be small in size, completely off grid, solar powered and remotely accessible. It needs to be cost effective, connected via cellular data at a reasonable monthly rate. So the challenge was quite significant. So let's keep watching to see how I solved this challenge. Now comment below on how you would solve this challenge yourself. I'd be very curious to know. And here's how I solved these challenges. I was able to solve every one of those issues that I've previously outlined. I've been using Real Link for a long time now and I'm very pleased and impressed with their products. They're reasonably priced, they're durable, and I've not had any problems with them whatsoever. I'm not sponsored by Real Link, but I do have some affiliate links down below, so if you're curious, you can click on those. Real Link was having a flash sale on their website, so I was able to pick up the Rio Link Go security camera with the solar panel unit, their second version, at a 20% discount. Now, you can get these products on Amazon, but with the flash sale, I went ahead and bought it from the Rio Link website. It did take a couple days, about a week, seven days or so, to get the product with free shipping and I probably could have gotten it within a day or two had I purchased it from Amazon, but with the 20% savings, it was certainly worth the wait. Now the Real Link Go is powered by a rechargeable lithium ion battery, and it connects to the internet with cellular technology through a micro SIM card that you put right into the device. The camera's battery is charged by the solar panel. So for all intents and purposes, this camera is completely self-sufficient, off-grid capable, powered by solar, and is connected to the internet via cellular data. Now the camera will stay charged and powered for three days without any sun. So in weather conditions where the sun doesn't shine for a while, and the camera will stay charged and powered on. It's not anything that you have to worry about. 
and also via the Real Link app that's free, you can download it and install it on your phone, I can remotely monitor real-time video as well as send up motion alerts via push notifications to my phone. Also, I get 15 second clips that are stored to the cloud. Now, Real Link offers a free one camera solution for their cloud-based services and for a free, you can subscribe to multiple cameras if that's something that you want. Now, I'm just using the free version for that one camera and that's really all that I need. So, as you can see, these two devices have solved all of the challenges that I was facing. As previously mentioned, the third point of interest was the cost. And was it worth it? Well, the Real Link Go was $240 and the solar panel was $25 with a 20% off from the flash sale. So my total cost for both was $213. I purchased these items with my own money and I realized that for some, $213 may be expensive. But you have to look at the alternative and buying a battery and buying a solar power battery bank and buying a charge controller and getting a larger solar panel. If you're not careful, you could easily be in the $500, $600, $700 range if you compare the alternatives. So for me, this was a very cost effective solution. I also want to mention that I bought a prepaid T-Mobile SIM card uh, that is a data only plan that gives me two gigabytes per month for only $10 monthly. So far, the unit has been only consuming about 20 megabytes per day and it only sends notification and records to the cloud when motion is detected. All other times it sits idle and no data is transmitted. So for the $10 per month using T-Mobile cellular network, this is a very, very cost-effective solution. And depending upon your situation, this may vary. You may have a very busy area and therefore your device is sending a lot of data to the cloud with a lot of push not notification alerts on a regular basis. So you're gonna wanna monitor that. So this solution for me was well worth it. I am very glad that I put this together and went to this exercise and so I hope this information was valuable to you. Uh, let me know what solutions that you come up with on your remote security system. I'd be very curious to know what you come up with. And so right now, all that's left for me to do is to install it on a pole in the corner of my property. And I won't bore you with that, but I might do a future video just to let you know how everything is working. So I hope you enjoyed the video. So please like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell for notifications. And until next time, I have just one question for you. What is your state of charge?